Well, good morning to all of you. Could you good morning to you? Hello, and good morning to you, Roland, and to all of you. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us on yet another terrific Thursday morning. They say throwback Thursday, right? Yeah, that's what yeah. we always say. You have an old picture of yours. Uh, actually, I was throwing back differently this morning. <laughs> on my way to work, I was playing some music from Naughty by Nature. Oh, my well, gosh. You know. That's a great way to throw back. Yeah. I know Kennedy and Japan I loves them. I oh, think. Hooray. Naughty Bunny. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you also love bo Bone Tax and Harmony? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And they were, they were the brainchild of uh, Easy E. Uh, yeah. Famous yeah. Easy E from Compton. Wow. And uh, I absolutely love their music. Uh, maybe I'll play that on my way home. Huh? Wow. You know your stuff. <laughs> you really straff it well. Good morning to you, Benjamin Kojomeinu. You're in Hammersmith, the UK, uh, L West London as it is. And uh, I hope that you also put on your WhatsApp status uh, a throwback picture of yours. I saw one yesterday, though. But um, we have many things to discuss. Uh, and apparently, the things just keep unfolding about the banking crisis and many other things we have in our country, Kojo. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and uh, today, uh, we know exception in our conversations. We're going to highlight what the Bank of Ghana has said most recently in a statement where they are basically committing to the prosecution of all of those who brought us to this point. Uh, but Parliament has also weighed in. The Finance Committee in Parliament says that they will be holding some hearings to look into this. But get what? guess what? They plan to do these hearings mm. in camera. You see. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about this? We've well, been asking people to tell us what they think mm. about whether or not these hearings should be done uh, in the full glare of the public or whether the parliamentarians should be allowed to deal with this, uh, you know, in chambers. Well, I, personally, I would want it to be in public. I don't know. It's as if we want to protect names personalities and people but I the thing is I can't quite understand yeah what would be at the, the end of the day is the depositors the Indeed. ordinary Ghanaian like you and I who mm. got affected in those uh, seven banks collapsing or going down and yeah. I, and I don't know there are many things that affect us in this country that the authorities and what we keep saying the media yeah. is just not taking for the right things now Marcus Sibeyabwa who happens to be the chairman of the finance committee says the reason why they are going to do this in camera is because um, they don't want to cause panic uh, amongst customers of banks you know it's wow. a sensitive thing when you're discussing banks well the i already thought that panic attack has already only, been exactly, covered with the the, only the loans is, being taken and these the... banks have already closed down <laughs> okay they've already been dissolved so what panic? And government has already anyway. absorbed all the liabilities, right? Indeed. With uh, as going to take an extra 5.7 billion Ghana cities yeah. to protect depositors. Indeed. You know. The minority is asking uh, whether or not um, they took that through the right processes, whether Ghanaians were part of that um, decision making to go for that bond to bail out these banks. Um, well, actually, to dissolve these banks and create a new one. Uh, we'll be talking about that and every other bank-related issue this morning, won't we? Well, well please also know that um, for this Thursday, we're going to do a review of the newspapers, uh, Mamavi Usabwaje and the two of us. But also, uh, we know that FIFA, they sent a letter to our government mm. about that uh, effort being made effort, effortlessly. Uh, that is by the Attorney General's Department to liquidate the Ghana Football Association. And now, uh, a letter is also coming in indicating the officials that are going to confer with the Federation. Uh, we're hoping that we'll get the latest update with a sports team coming in. And uh, Kojo, we already know Kojo Pankrum and a number of them are also part of the government delegation That's to go. That's right. Several of them, the Minister for Youth and Sports, as well as the head of the Interim Committee, um, uh, Dr. Kofi Amwa, have all been invited uh, to this meeting um, with FIFA, which appears to be a step back from their original position of don't interfere. So it might seem that after a phone call with the president, uh, Infantino, is that his name or Infantini? Yeah, Infantino, Infantino. Uh, appears to be more willing to play ball than perhaps they appear to be earlier. Well, perhaps uh, maybe the, the whole lull within the th three month period gave them some uneasiness, don't you think? But I can imagine, yeah. No. Yeah. It's not been it's not been an easy period. And look, uh, the GFA clearly, uh, you know, the, the the rot was from the core, you know. So there does need to be some action taken. But it appears the two bodies, uh, you know, Ghana and FIFA, just appear to disagree on what form that action should take. 
Well, so this is what you will be up against this morning, the next three hours. So I would also entail you uh, getting interactive with us. Facebook journeys on TV. You can also watch us live. My Online TV is our regular channel on YouTube. And give us more of your tweets at Journeys on TV on Twitter. Uh, we also wrap up with entertainment. Uh, that's on AM Showbiz. But let's bring you the latest uh, news headlines. In Absolutely. The and uh, Roland will do that while I go back and listen to some more Naughty by Nature. You know, don't be, be, you know me. <laughs>